If you like chaos, if you like carnage, if you like destruction, then you've come to the right place because this is Robot Wars Grand Champions. This is how we settle old scores on Robot Wars. It's the ultimate tag team all-out ball. Who will be around when it's all over? Anything can happen, but one thing for certain, it's gonna be brutal. This is about guts. This is about glory. This is Robot Wars Tag Team Terror. I'm your host, Joni. Let's get down to the floor and kick it off. All right, Joni. Today, you're gonna see four teams of two tag team robotic terror with Invertebrat and Exterminator on one team up against King B3 and 101. But first up, Firestorm 2 and Scorpion up against Bigger Brother and Thunderbird 4. From Durham, Firestorm. From Nutley in East Sussex, Scorpion. Well, the first half of this tag team is Firestorm 2, with the most powerful flipping arm we've seen in Robot Wars, powered by a fire extinguisher using CO2, and he's very maneuverable. And their comedy partner, Scorpion, in at 167 pounds. He's got a bit of a silly-looking chainsaw nose, but we'll see if he can do the damage. We're the Firestorm team from the north. And we are the Scorpion team from the south. And we're here as a tag team to unite the country. We have chainsaws, we have cutting discs. We have speed and powerful flipping arms, which means we have all the weapons we need to win Robot Wars Tag. Yes! From Brighton, Bigger Brother. From Alton in Hampshire, Plunderbird 4. Bigger Brother, tip of the scales at 170 pounds, sporting two monster truck windscreen wiper motors for drivetrain. They got a real powerful flipper, but it's tough to control. Thunderbird 4 at 176 pounds. Their main weapon is fear, surprise, and brute force. But they got a slicer dicer just in case. We are the Thunderbird team. And we are the Big Brother team. And we've decided to join forces. It's a mutual mullering and mashing. So we're forming a team of the tagging types. But some tag team terror. Totally. And it's going to be called the Big Thunderbird Brother Team. Roboteers, stand by. There's the tag team of Scorpion and Firestorm 2, with Graham Bone at the controls and John Bell controlling Scorpion. And there's the tag team of Bigger Brother and Plunderbird 4, with Mike Onslow at the controls for Plunderbird and Ian Watts for Bigger Brother. Three, two, one. So Plunderbird and Bigger Brother are coming from the blue zone. That's all they gotta do is go back into the colored zone and tag up. Scorpion and Firestorm in the red, and immediately Scorpion gets put up on its side by Bigger Brother, showing the dominance of that flipping arm early on in this bout, and Firestorm comes out and corrects it. So Scorpion is saved by a little illegal move from Firestorm, and now it's Plunderbird's turn to go up against Scorpion. Burying that little hook, and Firestorm comes in illegally again! And Rapbot gets right in the middle of him to let him know that ain't right. You can't do that. Firestorm doesn't care, though. Look at him back into the middle again, upending their own teammate, Scorpion. And now Firestorm's after Plunderbird. Well, it's an all-out Bashathon here as Plunderbird gets pushed up against the rails almost near Matilda's corner patrol zone. And Firestorm is getting a beating from Matilda as we speak for continuing to ignore the rules of Tag Team Terror. Well, like all tag teams, it ends up coming into a free for all, which is what it is now. It appears to me Firestorm 2 is dishing out most of the damage, although Matilda seems to have her eye on him. Firestorm definitely with all the speed in this arena. Blunderbird and Scorpion are hooked up with each other. And there's a bit of a Firestorm coming off the back of Firestorm. Look at that, run through there. I don't think it's melted anything quite yet. The Firestorm is having a good old bash over in the red corner as Blunderbird gets put up against the rails and up and over almost. 
But Bash is sitting there ready to protect his corner patrol zone, and Firestorm might be the first victim. Look at that piggyback action. Firestorm 2 almost put Plunderbird over. If it wasn't for that big meat hook hanging off the front, he would have been over for sure. And Scorpion once again helped out by his teammate. Scorpion doesn't really seem to have any skills here for this battle. It's all about Firestorm and the Plunder Brother team. And there's Firestorm 2 upside down in the corner patrol zone, but that Shremek is working overtime. For those of you who don't know, a Shremek is a self-writing mechanism. Bigger Brother backing up. He's actually backing Firestorm up, right up against the rail. And Scorpion doesn't look too healthy up against the other rail. So Plunderbird and Scorpion are possibly deceased, but the real battle here is between Firestorm and Bigger Brother, who have been fighting it out and showing plenty of aggression from the beginning of this round, but it now seems Bigger Brother has got the upper hand. And they're pushing Firestorm across the arena, back into the other rail. That 10 second clock is going down, which means these guys are gonna have to go to a judge's decision unless something blows up real quick. And the judges decide Firestorm 2 and Scorpion are more aggressive. You better come back after the break for some more tag team action. Welcome back to Robot Wars Tag Team Terror. Where so far, Firestorm 2 and Scorpion were the dominant tag team here, taking out their opposition, Bigger Brother and Blunderbird 4. So now it's time for the next tag team battle with Invertebrate and Exterminator on one team and King B3 and 101 on the other. From Surrey, Invertebrate. From Hartford, Exterminator 2. Invertebrat with that spinning wheel bludgeoner. We've seen it do really well for Hypnodisc. These guys have got some weapons on them. And they call it Invertebrat because it's invertible. And the other half of that tag team, Exterminator, in at 176 pounds, it's like a freight train coming at you with that big cow catcher on the front and a splatter movie axe. We're the Exterminator team from Hereford. And this is Invertebrat. I once went to Hereford which is why we decided to team up for tag. To the bait, we bring in our weight, our speed, and our axe. And Invertebrat's bringing its bludgeoner weapon and excellent agility, which makes it really good for tag. We hope. From Hornchurch, King B3. From North Hampshire, 101. Well, King B3 with that nine-inch circular saw that's gas-powered, they've had troubles with in the past. Let's see if they can get it going today. they definitely got speed and mobility on their side. 101, their teammate, looking like a lowrider tank. He's got a 200 mile an hour CO2 driven spike for a weapon. Hi, we're the King Buxton team. Back again with King B3. Very fast, very sharp, pretty lethal. We're going to uh, be in a tag team here and we're going to show him who's boss, I'm, sure. I'm telling you. This is Robot 101. Fast, maneuverable, runs either way up. Got Amy and Bunny to help us. We're the better side. We'll help them out. I'm sure we'll get them out a lot of trouble. Uh, no, I don't think so, actually. I think we've got the faster robot here. I think you'll find that we'll be running all over you. Uh, yeah, well, I, think, I think this is a bit more manoeuvrable than yours. We've got a lot more battles, and we're better drivers. Yeah, we don't need a fluffy bunny on our side. Well, descent amongst the ranks there on the B3-101 team, which is looking good for Invertebrate and Exterminator, who are looking good right up there in the booth. Les Wall driving Invertebrate, and there's Marlon Pritchard for Exterminator. King B3 in 101 with Grant Hornsby at the controls for King B3 and Mike Franklin for 101. Three, two, one, activate. Same as before, they're meant to tag into their colored zone before the other bot comes out. We'll see if they stick to that in this round. Invertebrate immediately testing out their hooks on the front of King B3. That spinning disc doesn't look so lethal after all. Great design if they can get it going, though. And now Exterminator tags in, and they're up against 101. 101 with a lot of drive power, not much in the weapons department. And there's that splatter axe going down. Seems like these guys are playing by the rules a little more than the last round. I hope I didn't speak too soon. As 
King B3 gets right out of the clutches of Dead Metal and right into the capable axe of Exterminator. Exterminator's got that axe held high, and there's pieces flying off of somebody. I don't know who it is. As a matter of fact, it looks like the rules have been flying out the arena as well, because it's a free-for-all again. King B3 pushing Exterminator up against the rails right into that corner patrol zone. It's getting mighty crowded in there, and Dead Metal is pulling 101 right out of it. King B3 gets out to see another day. And 101 with all the power pushing Exterminator right up against its teammate, Invertebrate. 101's got tons of power, but no speed as Exterminator gets out of that corner patrol zone mighty quick as King B3 pushes Exterminator into the rail. Now King B3 is having a forward reverse action, hitting both bots on the opposite team. He's doing a lot of damage. If it had to go down to the judges, I'd say these guys were pretty aggressive. Invertebrate looking like they're in a robo-coma. Not much going on for them as Exterminator gets pushed across the arena and yet again by these low center of gravity 101 and King B3 robots. These guys got the power and the pushing, but no weapons. As Bash goes in corners, King B3, he's putting the clinchers down into the side. I'm sure he's gonna do some major chassis damage with that. It's a 10 second countdown, means they're still going, and it's gonna have to go down to a judge's decision, unless, of course, something drastic happens. Little breakdancing move there on RefBot. And the judges go for the aggressive nature of King B3 and 101. We've got two teams on a collision course and a score to settle. Only one can survive. More Carnage and Robot Wars tag team terror continues. Welcome back to Robot Wars Tag Team Terror. We've just seen King B3 and 101 demolish Exterminator and Invertebrate. They took all that pushing power and pushed themselves right through to the next round. So there it is. We've got our two winning teams for the final. But first up, it's a tag team battle for third place. And there they are, trying to preserve their reputation, or what's left of it, Invertebrate and Exterminator. And the team up there discussing strategy to get them through. And there's Plunderbird 4 and Bigger Brother. And these guys were really unlucky not to get through the last time. Three, two, one, activate. And here we go for the playoff of third place. Immediately, Bigger Brother goes out against Exterminator. Battle of the Flippers here, and Exterminator is doing really well with theirs. That tree mech worked just wonders for Bigger Brother. Brought him back over real easy, no problem there. And if you look, Exterminator's lost the Splatter Movie Axe for a Splatter Movie Lifter, which isn't doing him any good, because they're getting upended by Big Brother right up against the rails. Plunderbird's just sitting there in the blue zone. I don't know if that was deemed a tag or not, but Plunderbird doesn't seem to move. Do you see those self-right mechanisms on Exterminator? Great little pose to punch out of the side when they get broadsided, which has seemed to happen a lot here. And there's Invertebrate getting broadsided by Bigger Brother, and they're doing some great synchronized breakdancing there. Fantastic. They're not even on the same team. Bigger Brother definitely has the upper hand, or should I say the upper lifter. Blunderbird team just looking in horror up in the booth as Bigger Brother tries to dispose of Invertebrate. And now Exterminator is going to try to make him pay for it. But I think not. Look at that. Bigger Brother put Exterminator up on its back and busted off one of its top spikes. Look at that. I don't know if those were weapons or antennas or what, but they're history now. Exterminator still has those Shremex working overtime. A big old bot like that gets tipped up real easy. And now they're trying to pay back Bigger Brother. Bigger Brother popping a wheelie with a little help from Exterminator. It seems to me that Invertebrate is now stuck. 
which would mean that it's just down to a two-bot fight here as RefBot is pushing Blunderbird out in the center of the arena. And again, Exterminator takes a roll courtesy of Bigger Brother, who's been showing his absolute worthiness to be in the top ranks of all the robots. Blunderbird just looking in disbelief. But here's Exterminator with that lifting arm doing more than the Axe ever did. Bigger Brothers picking on a dead bot there, and now going after Exterminator again. Pushed him up against the rails. Exterminator got out of dodge as quick as possible. The audience is screaming for the pit. Who's gonna be the first victim? Could it be Plunderbird? Could it be Exterminator? I think so. Cease. Exterminated. Well, Bigger Brother just scared Exterminator into that hole for an early burial. And there it is, Bigger Brother and Plunderbird 4 nailed down third place. Next up, the final of Tag Team Terror. Find out who gets the tag team title after this. Welcome back to Robot Wars, where it's Tag Team Terror finals time. So far, we've got Team Scorpion and Firestorm 2 going through to fight it out against King B3 and 101. The burning question here is who's gonna have what it takes to be the tag team champion? And there it is, the final lineup. Firestorm 2 and Scorpion up against King B3 and 101. <laughs> There's Scorpion and Firestorm 2 ready to do business with Jeff Smith and Graham Bone and co up in the booth. And there's King B3 and 101 looking low to the ground with Simon Harrison and Mike Franklin and co. Three, two, one. Activate. Here we go for the final attack, Team Terror. Scorpion is elected to go out first up against King B3. Scorpion puts that saw down. It's the first time we've seen any weapon action out of those guys. They don't really have much of a sting going on. Well, let's see if B3 can extract some poison from him. King B3 pushing Scorpion back right into the fire, which could be the best way to dispose of a Scorpion. Torch him, and he might be out of commission. The only strategy I can see here for Scorpion is to tag up Firestorm and let Firestorm do some damage as the saw from King V3 goes right to the side of Scorpion. Scorpion, if he knows what's good for him, better get out of that arena because they are just gonna be sawdust by the end of this one. King V3 has all of a sudden displayed some awesome technique with that blade as they tag up and 101 comes in to have some Scorpion for lunch. They may not have a saw, but they certainly got power in those tracks to do some pushing as Firestorm doesn't get tagged, but comes in anyway. And he's now being engaged by King B3, which is a cue, I think, for a free-for-all, because they're all at it, including Dead Metal, who's got Scorpion in the clutches. Team Firestorm looking on in disbelief that 101 and King B3 are trying to do each other in, as Firestorm just nudges a little bit with that lifting flipper. Look at this, it's a double deck tag team as 101 and King B3 can't seem to get away from each other. Well, that's the wrong team there, buddy. Maybe because of all the little uh, internal arguments they were having, they decided to take it out of the arena. There, Scorpion is just historical right now as King B3 and 101 are having a definite grudge match here. They could care less about the other team that they're fighting with as Dead Metal backs 101 up against the rails. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Well, there's a definite winner by default if these guys don't get it together and quit beating up on each other, but they are not giving up still, as 101 pushes King V3 back into the corner patrol zone, and it's just Scorpion getting in the way, as Sergeant Bash comes in as well and hits a bit of fire on 101. Wow, it looks to me like Firestorm 2's been dismantled and immobilized. Both of that team sitting together looking dull and listless. What's gonna happen is probably King B3 and 101 are gonna run away with this thing, even though they spent half of the battle beating on each other. Well, that'll be a first here on Robot Wars, as the suffering Scorpion is just running around in circles, 
And now the house bots are going after King B3. Look at Dead Metal just dragging King B3 across the arena, and Bash has got 101 in its grips. Well, this is our easy way to dispose of a champion. As the house bots are looking hungry. Sergeant Bash lighting up that torch. He's got him firmly gripped in those pincers. The audience is dreaming for some pit action, but I don't think they're gonna get it because it's all over. That's all she wrote. King B3 and 101 team up to take care of business, surviving a tough test from Firestorm 2 and Scorpion. Who else will be bidding for a chance to rip them up and toss them aside? We'll find out next time as the action continues on Robot War. And remember, building robots is dangerous and should not be attempted without great care. If you'd like to build your own robot or for more information, please visit www.robotwars.com.